In this video, I'll be explaining one of the new features in Magnet version 3, the introduction of reference centerline option when staking out points, surfaces, roads. This is a very good addition into the software in terms of using it as a master centerline reference, for example. You have a freeway with two center lines for each side of the road and you might want to reference the one master center line in the middle of the two roads and use this for all your design offsets staking out references. I will now show you how to use reference center line when staking out a point. We simply go into stake and then points. Select the design point that you wish to set out by using the point list or the map. And to use reference center line, we simply go up into the magnet symbol and then set up and then reference center line and tick use reference center line. And you also do have an option to select by code. And you have an option here to pick it from the map or you've got a list of all the line work in your job and you simply scroll down and select the line work that you wish to use. There is a little display on the right hand side to give you an illustration of the reference that you have selected. Once you have selected the reference center line that you wish to use, you simply hit the green tick and you'll go back to the design point selection and then you simply hit stake. In the main screen you have options down the bottom left and right hand side to change what values are being displayed as in terms of in and out or left and right or current elevation or northing and eastings. You also have the option to display your reference centerline chainage and your reference centerline offset. Simply select one of the four customizable options on the screen and simply by scrolling down hit reference centerline chainage and or reference centerline offset once you are happy with the position you simply hit the save button and if you scroll down you, you can see your residuals from the stakeout and if you scroll down you can see where it says the reference center line painage and center line offset and this can be viewed in magnet tools later on when you bring the data in and also in your stakeout report so the mjf or magnet field job file has been brought into magnet tools and again you can look at these reference center line chainage and offset values in report form through Microsoft Word or PDF or HTML using the report configuration option in Magnet Tools. I will now show you how to use the reference centerline function when staking out a road. We simply go to stake and then road and select the road that is to be set out and we define the reference centerline by going to the Magnet tool, set up reference centerline we notice here that the center line option is in the same place as the outer point, and this is the same for all stakeout options. Simply go into the magnet symbol set up center line. And here we select the same as the center line as stake point, and then we green tick. And we go next, and we default change and interval to be stake and the left batter segment that we staked out and hit next for options pairing the chainage of the center line of the road that is set out compared with the reference chainage and offset of the reference center line. Having these four options on the main screen will easily distinguish between reference center line chainage value and the current road chainage and offset. When happy with it, simply hit save and again scroll down to see the staked out change and offset that was seen on the screen previously and also the rent center line manage and offset is 
as seen on the previous stakeout screen.